Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see what are dockable phones, uh, how to create them and how to use them. So let's say we have this VCL phones application and uh, we are going to add uh, two buttons here. Uh, when clicking each of the buttons we are going to show additional forms. So let's create those forms. So this is going to be form 2 and we are just going to place something here just for the uh, demonstration. Okay, and having some buttons here and so on. And I'm going to create one more form. And again, uh, just going to place something here so that we can see the difference uh, in those forms. Okay. And the idea here is that uh, we want to show those forms when clicking on those buttons. So we are going to include uh, units of both uh, of those forms. Okay, unit 2 and unit 3. And uh, here on button 1 click we are going to say show me the second form. I'm not going to use show model because I want to be able to show uh, form 2 and form 3 at the same time. So uh, I must use the show method. And I'm going to uh, show the third form. Okay, and now when running the application uh, I'm clicking a button, I can see the second form and I can see the third form. Right, so the idea is that we can dock uh, those additional forms on some component uh, in the main form or some other form. In able to do that, first we need to choose uh, one of the components that has the dock site property. And one of those components is the uh, T-panel component. So, uh, like I said, what's important is that that kind of component has the dock site property and you need to set it to uh, true. Uh, this way you have uh, you have said that this component can be used to dock something uh, on it and that will be uh, the form 2 and form 3. So on form 2 we need to specify that uh, a drag kind is dock and drag mode is automatic. Okay, And the same thing uh, here on the third form, drag uh, kind dock and drag mode automatic. Okay, and now let's run the application. Okay, we are showing the uh, second form and we are showing the third form. Right, and now I'm going to uh, drag this form 2 into a T panel component. Normally, you would hear, uh, you, here you would see a rectangle, but for some reason, I don't see that rectangle when I'm um, recording this video. But uh, like I said, you will probably see it yourself. In any case, uh, what we have as a result is the content of the second form in a T panel component. And of course, I can uh, drag away and undock that form. I can dock the third form. And I can also, for example, dock uh, both of those forms here in uh, this way uh, in a, in a, in the first half uh, or, or um, uh, something like this so there are various ways uh, how you can combine the positions of those forms but uh, in this case when you have multiple forms that you want to be able to dock probably it's the best solution to use a page control component Okay, so I'll place it here and again I need to specify uh, the dock site property. Uh, I need to set it to true and when running this application again I'll show both forms. Right. And now I can for example dock the form 2 and that form got its own uh, tab and a page and I'll dock uh, the third form. Oops. And now I have, uh, as you can see, have additional tab and additional page with the content of that form, right? So I can use both forms like this. And again, I can undock uh, or uh, place the docking on this uh, T panel component. So uh, pretty much docking is very simple. Uh, what you need to do is to uh, go to the source uh, and that source of docking must have this dock site property set to true. And like I said, uh, there are components like T-Panel and Page Control that uh, that have that property. And on the other side of the uh, docked form, it uh, has to be set uh, on a, a drag kind uh, dock. 
and drag mode automatic and that's it so uh, nothing pretty much uh, else to be done here and uh, you have enabled uh, phone docking uh, in your application thank you guys for watching and see you soon